Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Hashem Hasabala in another episode of the Healthcare Music Podcast. Thanks for being here. Happy to have you. Um, December is a difficult month for me and my family. Um, for me, leaving aside the fact that it's my least favorite season, where the days are short and dark. Uh, many times it's gloomy, um, and the weather is not very warm. Uh, even <laughs> despite the fact that I'm born and raised in the Midwest, I still don't like this time of year. More importantly than that, December is a pretty uh, sad time for our family. In December, uh, on the 30th, to be exact, um, our eldest daughter was born in 1996. And she passed away after a brutal battle with lymphoma uh, in June of 2009. Uh, this coming 30th, uh, she would have turned 27. So December is a, uh, is, is a tough time. Um, I've written a lot about my daughter in other venues, um, and I think she has become the essential to my uh, medical practice. Uh, I, and I've spoken about it before, uh, uh, that I think she, through her death, through the grief that I carry every single day from her loss, I... By the grace of the Lord, I have been able to help countless people. And so I think it's appropriate venue here to reflect over her. Um, it, it goes without saying that the loss of a child uh, is an unspeakable horror. There is no word in any language that I know of, of a parent who's lost a child. Um, it doesn't take much to bring up the grief. And I hope I can um, keep my composure uh, in these podcast episodes when I talk about her because I, I'm starting, I want to have in the next couple of weeks, have several posts um, reflecting over the songs that God used to save my life after she died. Because it, 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 it could be a song a particular song that I would hear and it would give me memories of her, a song that we used to dance together with or a song that was playing when, when we would go to the hospital for chemotherapy or um, um, a song that would remind me of her and I would write about it and it would be very therapeutic. Writing uh, was, uh, was and still is catharsis for me. Um, and, and, Truly, truly, the, the Lord saved my life through writing. It was the best way that I could use to process the horror of her death. And so I want to share with you, because I, I bring up my daughter whenever I speak to families about goals of care or, or, or losing a loved one, I always bring up the fact that I lost my child because I want them to understand exactly that I know how they feel. Um, I brought it up in my book, uh, How Not to Kill Someone in the ICU, uh, about being careful as clinicians when we say, uh, quote, look, I understand. Um, because a lot of times we don't necessarily understand what our patients and their families are going through. In my case, especially when, especially when a parent is facing the loss of their child, I really do understand. And I want to kind of share some experiences, you know, um, things that, that, that make me sad, and also help me by writing and speaking about it. So I hope you will um, join me on this journey, um, th the journey of my catharsis, uh, the journey of um, my processing of the grief that I still have with me uh, all these years later. And hopefully, um, you will benefit, and I pray that I will benefit as well. Uh, thank you so much um, for your time and attention. 
And uh, this has been Dr. Hashem Hasabala for the Healthcare Musings podcast.